and I moved to Clifton when I was about 10. So uh, yeah, I just to play football. Any, any bit of grass we could find, parks, wherever it may be, and we were always kicking a football about. And that's my early introduction to football. I always play with mates, whoever it may be, who wanted to play a game of football, wherever we could find a piece of grass. I was at Manchester United for a year, up and down, going to every school I did, I'd go there for training. And then they said, oh, you're not going to make it at Manchester United. So I had to come back. I got a job as a silk screen printer. I got a call to say that Nottingham Forest wanted me to play for their youth team. On a Wednesday, so I got the permission from the, the owner of the, the company and said, yeah, I can go and play. So I went and played. And then I played the week afterwards and they said they wanted to sign me. I was 17. And then uh, they offered me a contract as an apprentice. I was an apprentice for five weeks. And then they said, I want to be a pro. And then made my debut when I was 17. He was um, unique in many respects. He was never really a coach as such, but he used to get the best out players. He got the best out of average players, really. You know, you talk about the Andersons, the Woodcocks, the Bowyers, the McGovern's, you know. He got them to go walk through brick walls for them. He'd, if the manager said, go through that brick wall, would you do it? He would say yes. Because <laughs> you wanted to please him and you wanted to get his, uh, his thumbs up to say, well done. And I don't think you'll ever see the likes of him again. Yeah, well, I got a bottle thrown at me at West Ham once and uh, it wasn't great, but uh, it was one of those things you had to go through. And uh, luckily, I've had a good manager, that, the late, great Brian Clough, that said, uh, let the football do the talking and, and everything will take care of itself. And I took that on board really early on. I didn't listen to all the chants or whatever it may be. I just got on with playing football, which, uh, which I loved anyway. So, uh, and uh, as I say, the rest is history. So uh, it was good advice he gave me all those years ago. I thought it was a good opportunity to go to London and play and uh, I've got some really fun, fun memories of playing for the Arsenal, some really good characters and really good players. You know, when I went there, there was Charlie Nicholas, Paul Mariner, Tony Woodcock, uh, Kenny Sanson, Graham Ricks, David O'Leary. I enjoyed my time there, but when Manchester United come calling, uh, there was only one place to go. Being a player manager is a very difficult task. So I had to come out of playing and just being the manager. And then Brian, Brian Robson talked about being joint managers. And he went to Middlesbrough and we had eight years there. And we, I thoroughly enjoyed that as well. I mean, it's every schoolboy's dream to play for their country. And I was no different to anybody else. Uh, um, it was a big thing because obviously I'm the first black player to play for England. I'd played under 20, under 21 level, so it was a it was a, a very, very emotional night and I was, and even to this day, I, I still have the lump in the throat. So I'm very honoured to play for my country and I always will do. And I don't get off on players saying they don't, they don't want to play for the country. It's a great honour and I've always wanted to do that.